in the 16th century in England, depending on the height of fashion at that particular moment, and also depending on a woman's status, periodically women would wear four sleeves, or also known as false sleeves. And these sleeves were actually sleeves that were detached from the gown that they were wearing. They may have been sewn or attached to the kirtle, which was underneath the gown, or they may have been put on after the gown was put on and then attached underneath the other sleeve that is on the gown. So to give you an idea, for example, there is a portrait of Princess Elizabeth who later became Queen Elizabeth. And in her full gown, you can see there's probably not a way that the sleeve was attached to the kirtle beforehand. So probably she put the dress on and then she has this full scooping sleeve here and it looks like it was put on and then it would have been attached to the sleeve that's part of her dress and a lot of times women would have these four sleeves so it was a sleeve that went from the wrist to the elbow and this sleeve would have probably matched their underskirt or their kirtle underneath and then that way you could have a contrasting look for example if i wanted to do pink and gold we'll just say pink and gold my dress might be pink but then my fourth sleeve or my false sleeve and then my underskirt, which is probably my kirtle, which is underneath my gown, that that four panel would have also matched my fourth sleeve. So I would have gold for the underskirt and gold for my fourth sleeve and then pink for the dress. Here is some black work embroidery, also known as Holbein stitch or double running stitch. And if you want to know more about this type of embroidery, please follow below. I have many, many videos on this. And even with that, the black work, it depends on if you're talking about the early 16th century in England, then it's the double running stitch, also known as Holbein stitch. If you're talking the later 16th century, then you're getting into the, the swirly, floral looking, anything but double running stitch black work. So please look below for descriptions on that or also follow along on my channel. But anyway, so I have this black work embroidery that I previously did. And so to go along with a four sleeve, I am, I've decided to take this and make a detachable cuff. And what I mean by that is I want to have the black work embroidery on cuffs that I can wear underneath a so I'll have the cuff and then I'll be able to put a sleeve over top of it and then you'll just see the black work here with the sleeve on top. But I want to make it detachable that way because in the 16th century, if say I was a lady, I could be a lady of the chamber. I could be a baroness. I could be a whatever. If I was a lady of rank, then I probably would not be washing the dishes. However, in today's society with the SCA, the Society for Creative Anachronism, I might be wearing a velvet dress or silk with my black work embroidery, but then go volunteer to help out in the kitchens and wash the dishes. And that's where I'm going to be using my detachable cuffs. That way I can still be able to wear my black work embroidery when I want to, but then if a situation calls for it, I can then detach my cuffs without having to take off my entire dress. Because previously I have made outfits with black work embroidery on it. However, I've had the black work embroidery specifically attached to my smock or to my chemise and that was underneath my dress and there was no way to detach it. And so then if I do go to help out with, if I'm helping with cleanup, I'm helping with setup, I am helping wash dishes, I am doing something that could possibly damage my embroidery, I'm less likely to want to help, but at the same time I want to help because that's just who I am. If I see that something needs to be done, I'm going to try my best to either help out or find someone to help. But again, then I run into the conflict of I've got black work embroidery and if depending on the embroidery, how many hours, days, months, I don't know that I've gone, gone years, but still you get my point that I really don't want to ruin the embroidery that I've spent so much time doing, but at the same time I want to help. So having these detachable cuffs, it's kind of going in the same line with those four sleeves where you would put your kirtle on, you would put your gown on, and then attach these four sleeves, and then it looks like it's part of the dress and you look so elegant. And then when something comes up, 
I can just detach my sleeves, I can detach my cuffs, and then I can go and help. So with that in mind, follow along as I make myself a pair of detachable cuffs. And before I forget, if you have any interest in some of the items that I am using in this video, such as my scissors, I will have links below for you to purchase if you're interested.
Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more of my videos, please follow the links on the side of the page. Please select thumbs up that you like the video. It helps with the algorithm. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and please click subscribe and ring that bell to be updated when new videos come out.